While Indiana and the world are mourning the passing of Holocaust survivor Eva Kaur, known for her messages of forgiveness, even for the Nazis who killed her family. Who, who could forgive the Nazis? Well, Eva Kaur forgave the Nazis. Micah Brown is mourning her friend. The tears Micah sheds are for a woman she says changed her life nine years ago when they met. At the time, Micah was a news photographer in Terre Haute, where Eva lived. And I was asked to travel to Poland to uh, film Eva for like a five-part miniseries for sweeps. Following Eva back to Auschwitz, the concentration camp where she lost her entire family except for her twin sister, changed Micah's life. She put things into perspective for me. You know, everyone's going through something, but uh, it's how you deal with it that really matters. Six years later, Michael went back to Auschwitz with Eva, this time with filmmaker Ted Green. We traveled 90,000 miles with Eva. We went to five different countries. The documentary Eva A-7063 premiered at Clues Hall in Indianapolis last April. She trusted us and I'm just so thankful that she did. Over the course of their friendship, Michael went back to Auschwitz six times with Eva. That's where she was most alive. That's where she found peace and joy. I think she felt close to her family there, in a way. That Eva passed on the same day America came to be. I think she would almost smile about that in a, in a way because she was so proud to be an American. So proud to be from Indiana. I got talked with her friend last week, right before Eva left on what would turn out to be her final trip to Poland. She ended every conversation with, I love you. And, and even though she's grieving, that won't stop Micah from sharing that same message of love and forgiveness with others in Eva's memory. She taught me so much about what really matters in the world. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.